We begin tonight with a story that we broke over social media just after noon today. This man, Mark Redwine, is in custody and will face charges in the death of his son, Dylan. The 13-year-old monument boy who disappeared while on a court-ordered visit to his father's house over the Thanksgiving holiday in 2012. Thank you for joining us tonight on Denver 7 at 5. I'm Nicole Brady in for Molly Hendrickson tonight. Dylan's remains were found several months after he disappeared, just about 10 miles from his father's father's home. And today, Mark Redwine was arrested in Washington State. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez has been digging into this story, following this for years now. And, and Lance, uh, some say this is a shocker, but others say this has been a long time coming. Well, Mark Redwine had long been considered a person of interest in this case, but he suggested his ex-wife Elaine had something to do with it. Now, Dylan Redwine was last seen alive when he arrived at the airport in Durango for a court-ordered visit with his father. Surveillance video showed little to no personal interaction between father and son. According to this indictment, Dylan's blood was found in multiple locations of Mark Redwine's living room. A police canine ind indicated the presence of cadaver scent in various locations of the home, including the washing machine. Now, in June of 2013, the young teen's partial remains were found up Middle Mountain Road, about eight miles from Mark Redwine's house. His skull was found in November of 2015, one and a half miles away. It had injuries consistent with blunt force trauma. Now in June of 2013, Mr. Redwine told Denver 7 by phone he wanted to know where Dylan's remains were found so he could be close to his son. It's hard for them to describe to me the exact location that they found these remains. I've asked uh, members of law enforcement to stop by and uh, I want to talk to him about going to the location so I can be close to my son. Now, Redwine was previously married to Betsy Horvath. She told investigators that he repeatedly violated their custody, agree custody agreement and told her he would kill their two kids before he let her have them. I just got off the phone with her. We'll have more on Denver 7 at 10. Back to you. Wow, okay, thank you, Lance. And our web team spent the entire afternoon poring over documents connected to this case, including the full indictment of Mark Redwine. You can read those now for yourself on our free Denver 7 app.